Hey guys, it is Jessica here with another video. And today I wanna to talk about our favorite person right now in the United States, Mr. Donald Trump. And what I wanna talk about is not specifically him, but a few things that he did um, during his campaign that I feel like we as job seekers can learn from during our search. Now, stay with me one minute. Whether you like Donald Trump or whether you don't like Donald Trump, there are three things that I feel he did that anyone on the job search should do. So keep watching. Now, the first thing that we all know about Donald Trump is that he is overconfident. He <laughs> just portrays himself from body language. You know, he's standing up right. He's always looking ahead. He's not, he's never really looking down and showing like a more submissive um, body language. He's definitely always confident and looking ahead. And even his speech, even if he's saying something wrong, <laughs> Um, he is very direct and very much confident about what he is saying. And I do think that um, in my personal experience as a recruiter and as an HR manager, I have definitely seen a difference in who is hired and who isn't during an interview. And a lot of times I can just tell by how a person is entering the room and how they are actually starting off their conversation, like the first couple of words that they use to introduce themselves and just talk about their interests with a job and things of that nature. So first off, just eye contact, looking at the person directly, not looking down, looking ahead, um, having really good, strong posture. Um, there's something that a uh, lady a long time ago taught me during a um, train the trainer seminar um, in a, a leadership training. Um, she basically does superwoman poses. So when you're like this or like this um, and you're holding the stance for a minute or a couple seconds, it makes you a little more assertive. It gives you that kind of more dominant energy that is helpful to give you the confidence that you may need during something like an interview. So just a piece of advice that you should definitely focus on being very confident, using confident, assertive words when you're talking and making sure above all you have that posture because that's the first thing that someone is going to notice. They're gonna notice if you're slouching like this and you're looking down, you're not as showing as confident or if you're upright, looking ahead, smiling, looking at a person, um, it just, it just, it's different and it comes across during your interview. So you'll notice if you watch Donald Trump, he does this. Number two, not focused on the qualifications. Now during the <laughs> campaign, um, that Donald Trump ended up winning his election, a lot of the time you heard that he was not experienced. And what did he do? He did not focus on the experience. He focused on why he would be a great fit for the job, regardless of the experience. And something that I do see job seekers do is that when they know that the qualifications they're seeing on a job description don't exactly line up. They kind of focus on that. Sometimes they just don't even apply. <laughs> um, other times they will um, kind of talk about, well, I don't have this, but, or I know that, that, you know, we need this certification. However, Donald Trump did not focus on the qualifications at all. Like don't even bring that stuff up. Now, if someone else is bringing it up, that's when you say, well, I have X, Y, and Z, or this is why I am a great fit for this job. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. This way is a lot different than when you are just 
kind of limiting yourself because you're so focused on not having certain experience. Focus on the experience that you have and what you can do um, that will basically help the company achieve their goals. So again, you'll see that Donald Trump did not talk about any <laughs> anything that he was actually qualified for, but he did talk about what his base wanted and painted a picture of how they were going to get there versus focusing on just, you know, the lack of experience or all the qualifications and yada, yada, yada. He was very focused on, I know what you want. This is how I'm going to get it for you. And going into that, number three kind of ties along with that idea and it's focus on results. So during an interview, right, um, as an interviewer, I want to know if you can do not only the job in front of you, but even beyond that and really help the business achieve our goals. And so something that I do see um, candidates miss is actually bringing up how they have achieved results in the past and how they can achieve results for this company. Now, thinking about Donald Trump, <laughs> again, um, very results driven. Uh, for example, whatever you feel about the wall, he, during his campaign, talked about, we are going to build this wall. We are going to do this. I am going to do this. It's going to be so great. It's going to be this, 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 and that. He really sold the end result. He sold what was going to happen. He painted this picture for his base of people. He knew what they wanted. So as a job seeker, you know what they, you have to know what the employer is wanting. And then you can talk about how you can get that result and paint that picture for them. So, love them or hate them, <laughs> there are some things I do think that we can learn from Donald Trump, not to an extreme, but a little bit. And first off is confidence, making sure that you are taking that time to ensure that you are looking confident, you're feeling confident, and the words that you're actually saying out of your mouth are very confident as well. Um, we talked about something that you can do, um, actually doing power poses like the superwoman or superman if you're a man watching. And these are the ones that I like. And just do them for a minute, I promise. You will feel like so empowered and ready to go accomplish some things. <laughs> it will help you in your next interview. Just try it and then come back and let me know. The next one is not focusing on the qualifications. Donald Trump didn't focus on if he was qualified or not. He just went and did it. So look at that job description and apply. A lot of times a job description that a company is putting out there is based on what they believe they need. And it is focused on this ideal candidate that they don't, sometimes they don't even know if they're out there. But if you don't apply, you don't have the opportunity to sell yourself. And I will say there have been many times where um, I've created a job description for a hiring team and we've had to redo it because um, as we go along the search, they're realizing, well, we actually don't need that or we might need this. So just go for it. Just go for it. Um, obviously, sell yourself as much as you can on your branding which is your resume and you know go from there and then lastly you do want to focus on the results that the company you are applying to want and what the results um, of that job that you're applying to what those will look like and then sell that sell up what you will do um, just like 
that Donald Trump did with his base um, of selling them things like building a wall or increasing, you know, wealth. We're going to be so rich, you know, um, using these confident words and saying what you will do. That will be better than focusing on, um, you know, what you've done in the past. I think that's great as well. You know, saying that you have done X, Y, and Z, but definitely paint the picture of you being in that role and what you'll be able to achieve. All right. Well, that's all I got for this video. I hope this is helpful. Hopefully it's not too controversial of a topic. Again, I'm on neutral territory here as far as politics. That's not what I want my channel to be about. But I, again, do think that being confident, not focusing on experience or qualifications, and being very results focused and painting a picture for uh, the audience that you're talking to is very important and are things that, love it or hate it, Donald Trump does very well. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you like this kind of content, definitely let me know in the comments. If you agree with me, let me know. If you don't agree, I would love to hear that as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.